All right, what's up, my friends? What's up? We're playing some Ultimate Masters Drafts. We've been playing all day. This is our most recent deck. It was a 3-0, and uh, pretty sweet, like, sacrifice deck based around Hissing Iguanar and uh, Magma. And we had two uh, Threatened Effects in Malevolent Whispers, Double Phyrexian Tower, and Ancient Doom. This deck was awesome. So, nice 3-0. We've, we've done a, this is our fourth draft today, and uh, we've been, we were like Red Green Madness, 1-2 is bad. We 3-0'd with uh, a Spider Spawning Blue Green deck, 2 on with a Mono Red deck, and 3 0 with that deck, and now we're back. Oh boy. So we played against a deck with our Mono Red deck that was playing Magus the Bazaar. They had 6 or 5 Basking Root Wallas, 4 Mirror Servitors. The deck was crazy, and I kind of want to try that. Um... Phalanx Leader is really good. Thermo Alchemist is really good. Bloodflow Connoisseur is important if you're the Sacrifice deck. But there's so many good Madness cards, I kind of want to try the deck. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Um, this format's very, very fun. format is a very linear, theme-based format. You can't just take cards. you gotta, you got to draft a deck. You know, so cards like Magus the Bazaar may be really good in your deck or really bad. Cards like Groundskeeper... All these on theme cards, the heroic cards. You gotta be a theme. You can't just be taking cards or colors. And um, it's been really, really fun so far. Lots of cool themes, madness, and discard stuff, and heroic, and graveyard stuff, and it seems sweet. So we're gonna uh, take Magus and try the madness thing and see what's going on. Spider spawning also on the table for this Magus of the Bazaar. Um, that would go well with our madness stuff. Spider spawning is really good. This is. Um, our spider spawning deck 3-0'd pretty easily. And uh, because there's so much search in the format, you can usually see your whole deck and you can use it. Cruise is good. It's not not a card you need to slam early. It's a common. There's a lot of cues, cruises going around and you can't have too many delve cards. Um, but yeah, Drain Assistant is cool. There's definitely cool cards here. Uh, Arena Athlete's really good in the mono red deck with um, Reckless Charge, but spider spawning here is pretty awesome. So, All right. Reckless Worm is cool. Boar Umbra is cool. Nothing really standing out here for our spider spawning deck. Um, Drain Assistant is very good. So, like, Wild Mongrel's fine. It's not really super exciting in the spider spawning deck. Like, we're not really doing. A ton. I mean, Mongrel is good if we're going to have, like, Ruwallas and stuff. I guess it's Mongrel. I mean, Reckless Worm is cool. Yeah, it's fine. Miraculous Recovery is interesting if you were to go, like, a different route. Some sort of, like, reanimation thing, but... Uh, Mark of the Vampire feels like an, an aura heroic theme for sure. Every card is a theme. Like, everything kind of makes sense, which is cool. Become Immense, Vexing Devil, Basking Rootwalla, Frantic Search... Um, Prismatic Lens. I feel like it's Basking Rootwalla. It's more important to have creatures and spells in the Spider Spawning deck. Unless you want to have, obviously, creatures in your graveyard. Uh, Thermo Alchemist is good. But I think we've already passed on that. Ship. Grave Scabbler Scrabbler is good also. It's a good Madness card. We are looking to madness stuff. Maybe expansive is kind of important, actually. I'm thinking about it, but I think you just want the Rootwalla. Every Rootwalla we discard to Magus of the Bazaar is insane because this card is draw two, discard three. But every madness card you discard is like a free card that draws a card also. So I like Rootwalla here. All right, there's Mirror Servitor number one. We're going to go for it. Um, this deck I played against also had four Mirror Servitors, so I kept discarding them and bringing them back and stuff. It was really cool. I like Mirror Servitor. Let's do it. Um, we're going in. Yeah, nothing here is super exciting anyway. Like, Twins is okay. Yeah, we're, we're, let's do it. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of, like, the, the cool self-mill cards, like the 2-1, uh, Seder Wayfinder. Stitch Drake is, like, okay but awkward in decks like this because you don't really want to exile cards out of your graveyard. So that's kind of awkward. Um, Safe Old Elite's fine. Yeah, it's a fun format. 
cards like Heliod's Pilgrim, Defy Gravity's cool in your heroic deck. You know, like, a lot of just cool stuff happening. Sleight of Hand's like... It's okay. It's not great. Let's take the Drake, I guess. Safe Old Lead's okay, too. Yeah, I'll take the Safe Old Lead, actually. Alright. It looks like... We're getting cut off, frankly. Living lore. Exile instant sorcery card in your graveyard. Power and time is equal to the mana cost. When it deals combat damage, you can sacrifice it and cast the spell. It's not really a reasonable thing to do. Um, Spider Umbra, Reckless Charge. Cthodian. Cthodian's like fine. Um. Looks like white is kind of open. I mean, the Crier is kind of cool in a Madness deck, but there aren't a lot of good Madness green and white cards. Let's take Cthodian and kind of go from there and see what else comes. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like blue is pretty not open. I think that making speculative picks is also really good in a format like this because there's a lot of power level. You want to get in the right deck. And to do that, you need to jump around a lot. So you usually pack one, you're kind of jumping around, looking for your spot. Uh, Skies Back Marauders is good. I'm not a big Demir Guildmage fan. RKO Mancer is okay, but it's not really super where we're at. Mystic Retrieval came back. Patchwork Gnomes came back. Groundskeeper. Spirit Karn. High Priest. Looks like white's pretty open. Um, maybe we juke a little bit. This card's really, really good. Patchwork gnomes I just don't really want. Oh, let's try this. It's Ancestors show Conviction is also one of the better cards in the heroic deck. You can keep bouncing it and casting it and bouncing it and casting it. Um, okay, let's juke a little bit. Hell in Darkness. This card's also good in the Heroic deck because you can target your own creature and their creature. Spider Umbra is medium. Most of these cards are medium. This card's fine. So maybe we end up like a green white beatdown deck? That's interesting. Two of these? Jeez. Like, this card's really good. Gravity Crusader. Okay. So, took a shot. Second pick to Mirror Servitor, or third pick to Mirror Servitor. It's not really there, it looks like. Um, we have a blue card, a red card, Mirror Servitor, we're probably not playing. And then white and green cards. And uh, Spider Spawning also, which is kind of like a lock card. So, what's up, Dreadful? Supporting my most favorite person named Jim. Mm, thanks. Eternal Witness, Rootwalla, Faith Fetters, God Willing, Safe Hold Elite. Eternal Witness is obviously just really, really good. Reanimate. Faith Fetters. Hmm. What's this card do exactly? It gets back things that cost mana, to, mana cost two or less. Safe old delete is good. I mean, we'll, we'll table one of these cards. I think they're taking Eternal Witness here is just like pretty reasonable. Pretty hard to go wrong with Eternal Witness. And we'll see what flows this pack. Blue, the Spider's Boring deck was definitely not flowing to the left. I think we're probably off it at this point. We saw hardly any playable blue cards. So zero Seder Wayfinders, zero of a two one that mills two. Just didn't see anything. This card is what we're looking for. Something like this. Which is really solid. Aura. Umbra. Talk to our priest with it. It's perfect. This is exactly what we want. Man Space and Angel is okay. Hyena Umbra is okay. But this card is exactly what we're looking for. A lot more ones and twos, that's for sure. And more, and more heroic payoffs. We did we did open the, the white, white heroic uncommon that's really good and pass it. Which is a thing, but... Ooh, hero. 
I like Hero. It's two drop. Wingsteed Rider is good, but we have a lot of threes already. Uh, there's plenty of Umbras to go around. I don't hate this card either, but uh, we're going to take two drop here. Oh, sorry. My bad. Was it? I wasn't in draft mode. All right, yeah, two drop's pretty good here. Makes the aura cost less. Just two drop heroic guy. So I think we're going to be shipping all of these off. I'm playing a mostly aggressive green-white heroic deck. That's kind of the thing, too, is it's cool that all the themes aren't confined to one color pair. It's not like blue-white heroic, red-black sacrifice, blue-green madness. Like, there's there's cards in all colors that work with the, the stuff. Like, you know, we can play Boar Umbra in our heroic deck. We can, you know, there, most of the heroic cards are white, but there's also ones in red. There's blue heroic cards that pay off well for heroic. Just cool. Like, it just the, they did a good job making everything... You know, there's sacrifice elements in other colors, and so on and so forth. Um, this pack is very bad for us. Like, very bad. There's almost nothing here we want. Furnace Celebration is a really cool payoff card for the sacrifice deck. Um, Artisan of Cosmo looks just cool. I'm not sure what you, what you do with that one yet, but... I mean, Flight of Fancy is good. There's a cool blue, like, Drake that brings an enchantment back from the graveyard on it. I mean, Repel is fine. I actually like this card a lot. Um, especially in, like, yeah, I like this card. I'm not happy with, like, third picking it or whatever, but... Yeah, I wish you two drops so bad. Wingsteed Rider's also good, but we just have so many threes. And there's just nothing else to take, because we're just taking it, but... Shilling Black is kind of cool, too. Why doesn't it just say hexproof? Just a cool like heroic enabler of a cantrips, but Wingsteed Rider's pretty good. So, all right, we really need some one and two drops. Travel preparations. This card's so good. All right. Well, the deck is definitely open, so we're in the right spot. Um, this card's so good. Yeah, but usually, usually they errata stuff to be keywords, you know? Another travel preparations? Oh my god. Alright, we're, we're in. We are prepared. This card is insane. Um, and it literally means you want to play every single one drop we get. Like, I'll, I'll play Groundskeeper in this deck if I get one. Alright. See? You gotta stay open, and then you get paid off. Probably not playing Cathodian. Ooh, well, I've done. A second, actually. What if we get back on the mirror servitor train, and those are our one drops? Hmm. Or is basking Rootwall just better? We already have one. If you have like, if you have like four mirror servitors, it's pretty cool. But I don't know if it's a a path we want to go down. <laughs> kind of want to do it. <sighs> Save all delete. Perfect. Persist cards. Just save all delete, which is really good with travel prep, yes. Uh, Hyena Umber is okay. Um, second mirror better than second root wall? Not really. I'd, I'd want to guarantee that I have at least four root wall. I mean, uh, thingies. Alright. I kind of like this card for a grindy matchup. Spider Umbra. I think we have enough targeting things. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have a lot. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to board this card for grindy matchups. Ruin someone's day. I mean, Crusader is good. There's no mana fixing in this set. So, Sky Spear, Sky, yeah, Sky Spear Calvary is also good. I don't know if we're going to play it or not. Might better than, than Scuzzback Marauders. The Marauders is so good with travel preparations. Like, I 
No, that's fair. Okay, Archer. That makes sense. Damn it, we opened <gasps> Slippery Bogle. Double Slippery Bogle and Spider Spawning. This pack is busted. Um, I think we're taking Slippery Bogle. Is that crazy? We have multiple auras. We have double travel prep. Goober, are you in chat? I'm pretty sure we're bogling here. There's another servitor. Yeah, it's fine. Um, obviously, open another Magus the Bazaar and Spider Spawning. It's fine. The ship is sailed. We're bogling. I think it's a probably table, too. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight good cards. Like, no one wants Slippery Bogle. Another Conviction. Shielding Plaques. Pulse of Marasa. Conviction's good. Um, we don't have that many Heroic Payoffs, though. I'm worried we have too many auras. I don't think we're playing this card. I might even play the Scuzzbag Marauders, honestly. Our deck just seems really good. I don't think cards are going to go to the graveyard for this, really. Right, I'll take Conviction, I guess. Brawn. Hyena Umbra. I mean, now that we have the, the Bogle, I'm more interested in the, in the Umbras. Bronze, okay. Yeah, let's take the Umbra. I'll tell you, we have totem armors. No one's wrapping us. It can't touch us. Um, I don't think I want any of these cards. Again, like I would play Lotus Eye Myst Mystics. I might just play Main, honestly. Just a nice value card with all my auras now. Yeah, so we're gonna lose to all his dust. That's fair. I will I will I will allow that. That's fine. Brawn. Spider Umbra. If I knew her, if I knew that Boggle was tabling, I would be really, really heavy on the Umbras. Brawn's okay. Give me all your guys trample's pretty cool. Stirring Wildwood. Oh no, Phalanx Leader! The best possible card for our deck. Done. That sucks. I would love the mana fixing land, but... Alright, well, that's really good. I don't think we're playing Brawn or Lotus Eye Mystics. Prey Upon? Prey Upon's pretty good, actually. Prey Upon's great. That's really good in our deck. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, whatever. Sure. Bogle time? Here it is. Bogle table? Can I get a bogle? Can I... Can I get a bogle? Suspense. Ta -da! Easy as that. Easy as that. All right. I don't even want to turn a witness in this deck. Probably. I guess I don't want a Rotom Unicorn. We got plenty of plenty of creatures now. We have one, two. I do kind of want the two drop. For our high priests, this deck looks this deck does look sweet. I'm pretty happy with this one. I said before the video that I've been drafting all day and doing well. That once I record the video, it's definitely gonna go horribly, but this has gone very very well. I like our deck a lot. I can see playing only one conviction maybe. I only have 13 creatures. That does concern me a little bit. I kind of play this unicorn actually. 
I mean, we, we take one conviction out. We only have one thing we really want to target over and over and over again for like insane value. So, Wild Hunger. Eh. Music is off when the uh, YouTube video is recording. Shielding Plax is okay. We have so many ways to return creatures. Spider Romper is not bad either. Oh, 16 land for sure. If I had that Storing Wildwood, I might play 15. I guess 16 is fine. All right. Um, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2 drops to return with our two High Priests. Uh, we have 1, 2... Five auras, and we also have prey upon preparations, preparations, re repel, repels, targeting things. Uh, yeah, daybreak coronet would be insane. I didn't realize that was in the set. That would be unreal. Um, but yeah, our mana is a little a little off. I would have loved. I would have taken that that uh, storing wildwood over most cards. But this is probably the best card in our deck. So, like, I would have taken it over a lot of other cards because our mana is my one concern. But this deck seems great. Yeah, I think I do. I do recall seeing a seeing a uh, a daybreak cornet at some point, like really early in the draft. But all right, uh, eight eight. There you go. That's the deck. Save it. Priest is two or less. Correct. What do y'all think? This one turned out really well. I have not seen this deck yet either. In our, our five drafts, I have not seen a deck like this. I'm stoked. Slippery Vogel. All day, every day. Oh my god, this hand's terrible. <laughs> Thanks, Sayo. Yeah, okay, I mean... Like, you know how good these two cards are together? But we, we gotta mulligan this. Sweet. Bogle, Bogle, oh, Travel Prep. Dude. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, that's also insane. One slippery boy. Yeah, this is um this is pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. We're playing modern so far. No card we've played is not in the modern deck. Boar Umbra. All right, so we definitely travel prep here. They can block a Bogle. They could have an Edict, I guess. Yeah, maybe we just... I, I don't mind trading because we have a High Priest, but... Yeah, let's not trade. Chainer's Edict is in this set. Raise your hand in chat if you think that Hexproof is the best mechanic ever printed. We love, like, like to draw land here. Wow. Rolling Timber. It's one of the few massive rule spells in the entire set. Asking Root Wall. Alright. It's fine. We're still going. That was almost bad for us. We have Edict Protection. We draw land for High Priest, and we're in great shape. Two tutus, sure. Repel the darkness. Uh, I 
kind of want to save travel prep. But now we have, we have repel, actually. I'm just going to travel prep. Give me sugar and water. It's hexproof. Be best mechanic, right? They have Chainer's Edict? Wow! They have actual everything to beat us, and they're still going to lose. They have Chainer's Edict and a Wrath of God. That's unreal. Land? Thank you. This thing better live. Unreal. This is unbelievable. Alright, High Priest is back, it's fine. Oh, come on. I have no words. I have actual no words. Wrath of God, Edict, Extra Removal Spell. Unbelievable. Can't even find the words. Alright, um... Let's bring in some grind, I guess. We need to... Cut... Cut Conviction, bring in Lotus Eye... I don't think shielding plaques matters because they have EX and stuff. Um, two. I think this is fine. That was unreal. It's actually unreal. Yes, I want to play first. Uh, yeah, it's fine. See if all the lead's pretty solid. If they have another Edict, like... The fact that Edict gets around Totem Armor is obviously annoying. Our hand was so good, too. Our hand was almost perfect. Ghoul Collar's Apprentice. Alright, pants him up. I wonder how many edicts they have. It's an uncommon. They can't have that many. This is a real sketch. Totem armor work with, um, I guess that yeah, doesn't, never mind. Alright. Oh, the 4 2 sack creature? That is, a, that is, a, that's a card. That is definitely a card. That would suck. Why didn't they attack, though? They should have brought in both of the 3 2 prowess guy. Autumn, 
Thanks to the host, Autumn. Autumn, you wouldn't believe the last game we just played. We had turn one, Bogle. Turn two, Bogle, Totem Armor. Turn three, like, travel, travel prep both guys. And they had Pyroclasm into Edict. Then they killed our other creature and, like, they just did everything. It was insane. I can't even find the words. Thanks to subs, everyone. Alright, um, Kanker Abomination's fine. Do your Pale and Darkness here. I don't think so. I'd like to draw another creature to protect against... There we go, that works. Rupala, say go. So we have repel, tap, pump, kill. A redirected raid? Oh, cool. Well, Pleasant Kenobi and Autumn, you're both awesome. So thank, thank, thank you, uh, thank you all so much. Very sketchy. Very sketchy. We have like soul fire here, souls fire, whatever. It's a card. Um I don't really know what's happening here. I'm a little scared to just keep doing stuff, but I'm gonna keep doing it, so. This is lethal. Oh, this card is an instant. This card was a sorcery for some reason. Alright. Well, we still have Edict Protection. There are two. New sub is... Ooh, how do you say that? Um, Lass? Am I saying it right? If I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. Um, uh, New sub. Played on and off since Ice Age. Your card is Crufix. Your deck is 2012 Error Legacy Death and Taxes. Puppy name Squeak. Awesome. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for subbing. Not sure what can go wrong here, you know. What's up, tiny angry demon? Yeah, I came in like 35th, the top 64. Wish I had done better. <sighs> Pulse of Marasa back at 2 2. Okay. Alright. We're a little out of gas here. Uh, the 4-2 that's an edict is um is an edict effect. It's not a destroy effect, so Umber doesn't do anything about it. Okay. It's a large creature. Tap two creatures. Oh my roll. Yeah, tiny angry. I chose to draw in the last round, thinking I couldn't top thirty-two. If I won, I mean, we played and I won. And if I had won, I would have made top thirty-two. But I couldn't have known that. Rolling timber. Okay. Now what? Sure. 
sure. Safe hold elite, still feeling pretty safe. Jeez. How many games did Loxobot get an insane turn one like I did in Jenkins Jess Guy? Um, not that many insane turn ones. Like, usually it's turn two, but... Yeah, there were a lot of draws tiny, a lot more than I expected. The tables all immediately around me didn't draw, so I didn't really get the, the win that everyone was drawing. Gurmag Angler. Alright, now we're going to the part where we can't really attack anymore. So they can triple block, and we'll lose our... I guess the Umber would take effect. Prey Upon is gas. Okay. Um, I guess we have to wait. We just have to do this, then wait a turn. Just Prey Upon the Worm. Um... Played Loxobots in Modern and Rakdos Midrange in Standard. Alright, yeah, I guess we just we just kill the, the worm and just pass the turn. And just get him next turn. Yeah, to all you folks just tuned in, welcome. Make sure you follow the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Usually it's constructed on this stream, but I'm just having a little fun, relaxing. I drove 10 hours back from Roanoke yesterday, escaping the snow apocalypse. And, um, it's weird. What kind of donation for an updated cube list? I'll do that eventually. Uh, probably at some point over the holidays. Um,. That will get that will be done for it'll be on coolstuffinc.com. The abyss, you gotta love the abyss. Sure. Well, we got a plan and we're sticking to it. It's called Attack of My Huge Creature Every Turn. And this unfortunately is Mona the Unhallowed to buy them a lot of time, but if we just draw any targeting spell and pump our team up, you know, it's kinda cool. So uh Brawn is not in the deck now. More blockers, okay. And more lands. We've drawn 10 lands so far, we have six left in our deck, it's fine. So we'll draw like, like gas going forward. They block with the ghoul caller, get another creature.
I guess we're getting to the point where I could attack a Mongrel that turn. Because Mongrel could beat the Kanker Abomination if I discard my hand. <laughs> Man, they, their deck is very well suited against ours. They have multiple Edict effects and Mass Removal effects. Yeah, Mongo, Mongo will attack this turn. The Unicorn. Okay. How about blue? How about white? How about red? Yes, persist plus phonics leader and travel prep is also great too. Hope they don't have eternal witness for the pulse loop. That would be a problem, yeah. Well, all its dust would also be a problem, but. <laughs> nice. Um, I think I like attacking and repelling my Phalanx leader and their canker abomination. We could also just try and kill them by just tapping two things and attacking, but they have. A lot of mana up and two cards in hand and stuff. I'm just gonna do the safer play. That's why I like this card a lot because it's, it's a both well, a heroic enabler and just like a a falter effect. It's pretty dope. Now we get to unpersist our safe hold, make all of our creatures huge. What do they have here? They have soul fire probably. It's already been targeted, which is cool, so. Even if they kill the leader in response, I guess the Umber also falls off too, so. Am I gonna be one of the Elite 32? I don't know, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. It'd be cool, I'd be happy about it. There is some cool stuff coming on the stream I can't really talk about yet. All right, so. They chump block and block and take five. Sure. They go to one. This is a pretty good spot to be in, I suppose. All right, that game went better. Their deck does still seem very good against ours. Um, I think I actually want the other... Uh, Lotus Eye Mystics. I sure don't want to cut though. I do have a lot of early creatures. Maybe I don't want it. This is fine. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, Team BCW will have two new members next year. And of course, uh, Players Champs coming back. It's going to be an exciting 2019, that's for sure. Alright. God damn it. All right. All right. Let's hop it. Just seems too good to. Nah, Brawn's awkward. It's like Brawn has to get in the graveyard first. I don't want to just like throw it away just to get to get trample, you know. So. Feels pretty good so far. Good start. 
Golgari thug? Okay. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Alright, we're definitely playing priest here. Do I want their thug to die? Uh, I did one paper UMA draft on Sunday at SCG Con when the building was empty and I was waiting for Andrew and Dan on top eight. That's what sparked my interest. Eh. Yeah, they blocked the thug on the root walla. It's like a bad exchange for us. Although it will allow me to high priest it back. Eh, just die with this. If you block with Thug, it's fine. Like, this is also fine. Yes, I'm almost assuredly going to be at the Modern Event in Columbus. I should be teaming with uh, Ross and Tannen. Sure. All right. This is fine. I'm definitely looking to make trades with the uh, the high priest in place. This is fine. Gets the guy in the graveyard, and then we can hopefully target and get it back next turn. If they kill this thing, I can get it back with witness. So five dollars so five dollars song quest. Not right now. I'm recording a YouTube video, so. uh can't get sued for copyright infringement and stuff. That would make my, uh, put a wrench in things for sure, you know? Zomber, Zomber. Aura. Travel prep is the bomb. Couldn't imagine a better card to have drawn there. Um... Hmm. We prep. The priest is only a 3-4. So I can't really attack with it. I'm still doing it. So the safe hole gets in no matter what. Um... Get back the root walla. Nice. Pump those. Nice. Might even actually attack. Maybe I attack and just let the priest die and then get it back with witness. The thing is that I want to get this back with witness after they kill it with a kill spell. So let's just chill, I guess. Yes, everyone say hi, say, everyone say hi to, the, to the people of the future. Uh, watching on YouTube, they are in a strange world with flying cars and stuff. So they go land, like, Doomblade this, or whatever that 5 mana spell is. From the future. I mean, I'm pumping, so. Alright. Let's say go. I imagine this is going to die in step. Yep, that's fine. Next turn, we witness it back and cast it. I'm actually wait. Um, because. I want to just hold the the thing. Yeah, I'll probably just hold it. All right. So let's act.
Again, very happy to take, take every trade possible. Play witness. I like this new art. It's very confusing. Get back my priest. High priest is so good. Like, what a card. Just say go. Next turn we get to go priest, travel prep, get back Rootwalla. Just keep grinding and grinding. It's important we keep a number of creatures in play in case they have um, an edict. That's fine. Ronum Unicorn. So you go priest, travel prep unicorn. I'm fine with that. So let's attack. Ah, that's really, this is bad. I should, I should not have traded the witness for the Glogari thug. Yeah, that was a mistake. Orange resub. And Thug goes back on top of their deck, which is kind of like a bad draw, so it's kind of cool. So you go Priest. Ah, oh, crap. The flashback on Travel Pipe is white. So I can't actually do everything. That's fine. Whatever. Alright. Travel Prep these two. Get back Rootwalla. Repersist. Yeah. It's nice. Alright. It's nice. We are grinding. Opponents had multiple two for ones with their zombie token stuff, and we are just grinding through. Yeah. Now you got a thug. Slum Reaper. Yeah. That's fine. So we'll sack our root walla. So we're gonna get it back uh, next turn anyway. They have to draw the thug again. Hello. That's awkward though because I want to. Um, ooh, that's tough. They have two cards. If I play this thing and they can kill it somehow. They have like the, yeah, playing it's definitely risky. Oh, I just get it back though. Yeah, okay, never mind. we're just playing it. All right, we're taking a turn off here, which I don't like, but. Oh, hurry, thug. That's really good. Um, unicorn. Travel preparations. I want to get back our thing first. Then pump the team. Then pump those creatures. If you like our deck, raise your hand in chat. Oh, yeah, I didn't even drop mobile that game. Whew. High Priest is so good. The card used to be uncommon for a reason. Might even be a rare, honestly. I don't remember, but... You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub to the channel for more great content. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow on there. Ultimate Masters Draft. Green-White Bogles, essentially. Green-White Heroic, basically. Travel Preparations. Remember this card? That didn't feel great? What do you mean it felt awesome? Oh, was, it, was, that, was that you, Tilt Jack? Good, good game, my friend. Yeah, our deck is sweet. Your deck was good, though. Game one, you tr you like, you like wrecked us. And I, I was just like, how could we possibly lose? With the Pyroclasm and the Edict. Multiple Edicts. The old Bogles. You have three Chainers Edicts? Yeah, like, literally, you're the one deck we don't want to play against. Yeah, this card's so good. 
the High Priest. This card rare or uncommon? Yeah, we were trying to keep extra creatures in play when possible, but it obviously wasn't always possible. So, good game, my friend. It's fine. See, I don't even know if this hand wants to cast Rala on turn one. It probably does, right? Yeah, I mean, like, discarding into Mongol doesn't really do anything. Like... Oh, it's our stirring wildwood. Umbra. I mean, it's an instant speed creature, but I'm just gonna attack on turn three anyway, so it's not like it's ambushing anything. Lord Draken with the gift. Still check your sub now. Like it or not, welcome. All right, um, yeah, we beat, just beat Bogle. I'd love to pump the wallet, but. I'm getting hungry. Kitchen Finks, Kitchen Finks is good. It has a, a high quality magic card. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Mongrel's not great in our deck. Like, the Mongrel Root Wallet thing is definitely not our main plan, but we need early creatures really bad, so. Ooh, Bant? Skullkeeper? That's why I like this format. You're not stuck into playing one, um, oh my god, Sublime Archangel? Whew. You're not stuck playing only one archetype for each color pair. Like, you can do lots of cool stuff. Alright, we're about to get dirty here. Uh, should I tap everything and attack for a million? Umbra. I guess, I'm, I, guess I, would, I would trade Ruwala for this Boneyard Worm for sure. Is the second Bogle worth it? Not really. Let's put the Umber on the first Bogle. New sub is Ryan from Boston. Live in New York. Playing for a while. Favorite card Electrolyze. They block? Sweet. Um, my buddy took over, took over my original stream streams and blew it modern. Sweet. Ryan, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for subbing. Stinger, Flinger, Spider. Or Stinger Fling Spider. Hmm. Well, that's a big butt. Terra Bogle looks worse at its worst here, just against like a, a deck full of you know semi large creatures. Sublime Archangel is pretty good too. Downgraded from Mythic, right? Demir Guild Mage? Alright, we're going off the rails here. That's a good one. Kind of stand still here. Stitchwing Drake, sure. Five toughness, too strong so far. I think this is the matchup we want to draw more of our heroic cards and then our, our Bogle type cards. They just have a lot of like random blockers. B 
Beating Sublime Archangel also seems very difficult if the they manage to cast it and not mill it. Okay. Four cards revealed are Wickerbow, Wickerbow Elder. That card's gonna get us too. All right. All right. Lord Dragon, thanks for watching, my friend. Our umbers aren't doing enough for us. Treasure cruise, yikes. Bant stuff. Green white lands. Do we have a stinger flinger spider on our sideboard? I don't think we do. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think we can win. I think we're just dead. They probably have a spider spawning in their deck too. So this, this doesn't make sense to me, like, we have so many lands that if we if we had spells in our hand, we would just have played them, so why not just draw cards? You know, like, it seems pretty clear the cards in our hand kind of suck, you know? I'm trying to just block with a bunch of stuff, I don't even know. Shed weakness. It's only nine. I mean, this is not a good exchange for us, but Looking too good. Didn't draw any of our like super heavy hitting enchantments. Target player discards a card. Right, tap that and tap that. Get back basking Ruwala. Draw a card. It's land. It's Arctic Guard. Feel like we should be dead already. I'm not sure why they made us discard instead of flashing back spawning after like attacking with some stuff. Aether snipe evoked. Okay. Okay. Are we dead yet? 
I don't know if we're dead or not, but it looks like we're dead, so I'm going to concede. All right. That was obviously a pretty tough game. Kind of just uh, puttered out. Let's see what... Uh, they have a lot of blockers. We did two of these Sky Spear Calvaries. Um, they also have the Aether thing, too, which, which is really good against our... Um, Good against our um, our auras. Hmm. Like stuff's not gonna die that much, so our high priests aren't as good here. I think I might ship a spider umbra. I want to bring in some lotus eye mystics. I think. I may bring in one of these calvaries and cut. Like we haven't drawn wingsteed wing rider yet. Flyers seem good. Maybe Ronim Unicorn's just like too bad. Um, Scuzzback Marauder's also kind of cool. Yeah, one Aether Snipe. I want to keep our, our speed for the most part. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, I'll be playing Arena tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to play uh, Loxobots and Rakdos Midrange, the two decks that I played at the Invitational. God damn. Small again. You're killing me, Smalls. Alright, we're going to keep. Hey Jim, uh, just a quick question. Do I believe Wizard is going to move to digital only format with Magic, cutting out paper completely, or will that be unlikely? Cheers. I think uh, that is that's unlikely. I think that they're going to move a lot more competitive play stuff to uh, <coughs> to Arena, because um, it makes a lot of sense. But I don't think paper Magic is going anywhere. Very stoked for Arena. Very stoked for stuff coming up in the future. Thanks, everyone. Oh, bless you. Come on, opponent. Jeez. Keep, scry, two drop, sure. Just draw Boar Umbra. You're very stocked for BCW. Uh, guess we just attack. If you draw on like our two late game cards in our opening hand, unfortunately. Boneyard Worm. It's 2-2. Two, two. Sure. Like, I don't want to just play Lotus Eye Mystics for nothing. You know, like... Ugh, this is gross. Oh, itching Finks. All right, Calvary, it's your time to shine, my friend. You're a 2-2 two -two flyer for five. Let's go. Let's draw Boar Umbra next turn. Let's kill him in two turns. Oh, if they had Stinger Flinger Spider, though, that would have been that would have been terrible.
Bam. Slippery Bogle. Right on time. Man, not very good draws here. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right. I mean, we'll just play our Bogle, I guess. And attack for four. It's, it's, it is four. It's not a small attack. And we'll just repel the darkness on their turn and try and draw an aura. That's a card. That is a magic card. Don't stinger finger spider, don't shoot. Right, spider spawning for three. All right. Come on. All right. Um, We can't beat spider spawning. Uh, we just can't race them chump blocking five times in a row. We need to draw an actual spell, or we're not going to be able to win. This is unfortunately not how we drew it up. I didn't... Oh, never mind. We're good. Uh... Next time we chump the 4-4, we take a lot. And then we try and draw an aura, hopefully, or something. We can travel prep the safe hold lead again. Oh, thank god they milled Stinger Finger Spider. That's good. No black for uh, spider spawning either. The swamp's in the- they milled the swamp! They may have no way to cast spider spawning for flashback. That's very good for us. Come on. Now what? Treasure cruise. Uh, Basking Rootwalla. Yeah, they just axed the uh the spider spawning. I mean, if I hit the Calvary, then the 4-4 Double Striker just holds off the ground pretty well. Probably can't stop the Boneyard Worm, though. Um, having Lotus Eye and nothing to get back sucks. Basically, everything has sucked this game for the most part. Like, it sucks to have to go into, like, a turtle-up mode when they just drew three fresh cards. It does not feel good. You're basically just hoping that their cards suck. Alright, well, that's the game, basically. Tough match here. Tough match. Finger deck is great, but... Fortunately, it's not always meant to be. Yeah. I mean, alright. Whatever. What are you going to do? Big blockers and bounce spells is uh, definitely good against us, for sure. 101. 
Bogles, Ultimate Masters Draft. If you haven't followed the show, that follow button, of course. Don't forget to hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one site on the web for uh, all your gaming needs. Of course, Magic. They have booster boxes for... It's two seventy nine. How much? Ultimate Masters two eighty nine ninety nine. Use my promo code Jim five for five percent off. It's like fifteen dollars off your box. Promo code Jim five, and of course they have everything else as well: Magic, other card games, board games, miniatures, role playing games. My articles are here. Article Friday, video Monday. This Friday's article will be all about the Imitational and the two decks that I played: uh, Loxo Bots in Modern and Rakdos Mid Range in Standard. Both decks you've seen right here on stream. So check that out as well. Coolstuffinc.com. Man, that was a tough match. That was really tough. Kitchen Finks is good against us. There's a lot of good, a lot of good ground blockers. You know, we never got like our, our really good stuff going. Never had, never got Fallen X Leader going. Um, never had like a a big creature. We got our Bogle to a three three, and that was it. And like they weren't really killing our creatures, so our high priests weren't very good either. Just like a pretty awkward matchup. Union County game. We just played against this person. Is that last draft? Hmm. Whatever. Basking Rudutwala. Chainers Edict. All oh, these people think they can edict me. Crazy Chainers Edict people. See, this is good. Though. Our, our High Priests are so good against removal, but like, I'm actually pretty happy about this. I'll say I have 100 million Chainers Edicts, you know? D5, thanks for watching, my friend. Thanks to Cheer, too. I appreciate that. You're the number one cheer, my friend. You leave here on top. All right, opponent, let's go. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course. See, whenever I whenever I go into a spiel, they always that's the that's the moment they choose to to come back. So that's why I do it. Just perfect. All right, battle priest. I don't really care if you follow the stream or follow on YouTube. I'm just trying to kill time, and I know that the second I say it, they'll come right back. So it's all strategy. I don't know about y'all, but I prefer Terramorphic Expanse to un on uh, Untamed Wilds or whatever Evolving Wilds. Conviction. Okay. Uh. Let's do it. Worst case scenario, they kill it in response. I guess I lose my conviction and my high priest, but I gain back a root walla. I mean, I just wait. Yeah, it's wait. And think about it like that. It makes more sense to chill. Play mongrel, madness, and root walla. Lizard. Unholy hunger on my high priest. That's fine. Because we get to we have our witness in our hand, we can get it back. We have another one anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it all feels good. Yes, please. How about red? Travel preparations. Guess. Like this is great. As long as the opponent's not putting blockers in play, you know? Travel prep next turn. Emancipation Angel? Sure. Safe hold elite. 
Okay. I'm going to prep the elite and the priest. Get back our Walla. And get in there. I think it's just everything. Sure. I don't think I'd, I, I go for discards here. They could have a bounce spell or something. The monitor will come back to this thing anyway. We'll just deal the maximum damage and say go. Keep, a call, keep all these good cards in our hand. Are they going to put all formats on Arena and get rid of Moto? I think that's highly unlikely. And if it does happen, it'll happen in like eight years or something. It's not going to happen like anytime soon. So, what's up, Bobby? I mean, Pawn's pretty dead. So, that's cool, I guess. Prey Upon? Prey Pawn is also good. I mean, is Settle the Wreckage in this, in this format? Uh, attack with everything. Reviving Vapors. Go to the top of the cards of your library, put one in your hand, you gain life, you that card's can burn a mana cost. <clears throat> they reveal. Urborg, Plains, Cathodian, they gain three life. No, they put the... What? They just not gain life? Huh. That's weird. card is bugged, it never gains life. Well, I'm lucky then, they get, they get to file for a refund. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. They just, they, they get a five block here and die, so. That is funny, though. FY, or FYI, PSA, Reviving Vapors is bugged. Don't play it. You do not gain life, for whatever reason. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, let's run that back. Their deck seems a little grindy, so I'm a little more interested in this Lotus Eye Mystics. Um, be cutting the Unicorn, but with the life gain, the card is okay. It's not not very good. It's kind of card where if it costs three, it'd be really good. It's like an impulse that like gained four life, but all right, uh, yeah, hands good. A little soft to an edict. If I want to go turn one Walla, turn two Umbra. We'll see what uh, what we draw and stuff. What's up, Toots? Are you off work, Toots? I'm hungry. Oh. What do you think? What do you think of our dinner, Toots? What can we have for dinner? No edict. Travel prep. We just pump. I'm not playing Umbra into open mana like this. We have a heroic card in our hand anyway. Like, Cathodian, sure. Stopping at your mom's. I'm not gonna be home forever then. Um,. This is pretty awkward. I obviously can't cast my best card. Uh, I guess we just Umbra. Pick up Mario's. Um, nah, I don't spend the money on Mario's. All right, it's Umbra, trades for Shriek Maw. That's fine. No white source again. That's bad. 
And witness back the Umbra, I guess. We can't attack. I don't want to put stuff in play. Like, I want to be able to go leader travel prep and pump my team. I don't have a team right now, so. Whatever you would like for dinner is good for me, Toots. I think it's good they made mana fixing bad in this format. I like that, um, honestly. I like that you can't just play all the colors and play a bunch of signets and stuff. Like, you have to build a two-color deck with some sort of theme. I like that. Kodama's Reach is in there. You can maybe play like a multicolor deck. There's Evolving Wilds or whatever, so you can splash stuff occasionally. But for the most part, you gotta build a two-color deck, and I like that. Come on. Oh, you're killing me. Um... I guess I could just kill this Cathodian. All right, fine. Pump this. Kill Cathodians. So they can't get it back. As I was saying, I do really wish I had that stirring Wildwood. That's it. Tapping out. Tapping out. They've had enough. They've had enough. All right, so two one. Um, I think our deck was really sweet, but I think it, I think our deck showed really well that this is a very fun format. This is a format where you can draft a deck. You know, our deck is a green white heroic deck slash Bogle's deck. You know, um, the middle opponent we lost to was one of the first like good stuff decks I've seen, but in reality, they were, they were also just like a spider spawning deck, you know? Um, so, definitely a super, super fun format. I'll check it out. It's cool that Heroic can be white, it can be green, it can be red. There's a lot of options. It's really, really cool format. So, did I answer your question? I don't know. Oh, no, no Mario's. It's expensive. Whatever you would like is fine. That's, so, that's um that's the video. Oh, Bur now Burnsy's awake. Yeah, great, Burnsy. Thanks. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub for more awesome content. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow. And um, I may do some more of these drafts. We'll see. Uh, tomorrow I'm playing Constructed. Uh, as I said, I played Loxobots to a 5-3 finish at the Invitational and Rakdos mid-range to a 6-2 finish, like 35th overall. Um, I'll be playing both those decks tomorrow on stream. Look for vid videos of those on YouTube as well. And um, I think that's going to do it for the stream and the uh, and the YouTube videos. So YouTube, make sure you sub. I'll see you guys next time. Have fun in your drafts, and Godspeed. All right? Bye, y'all.